Okay, so we have tried to do our practical with uh, spline, thin plate spline. Now we will do the um, natural neighbor. So we can try to click on natural neighbor. Okay, I uh, just leave this. Of course, we want the depth corrected. Uh, for natural neighbor, we should choose the Sipson. Okay, Sipson would be would be good. Okay, and the cell size. Let's try one hundred and twenty five as well. The fit will be notes. Uh, this just leave it, and the grid. Don't forget to save it into a file, uh, into a GRD file, and I will name it um, Matne. Save it, and then you run it. Okay, and that's how it looks like. Again, you can just right click, style, copy style, and then you paste your style in here. Okay, so you can actually uh, rename it. So that's bath, um, matinee, uh, 100 meter. Okay, and you can compare your natural neighbor data with your spline data. Okay, so that's basically how they differ. Okay, um, and then I think before we actually differentiate those two, we will do the natural neighbor again, but in 25. So the cell size would be 25. Don't forget to make the method into Sipson. And the grid would be saved as a GRD file with uh, 25 meters resolution. You run it. This might take a while. Don't worry about it. You can have a drink. You can have, you know, a conversation with your friends or whatever. I will have a drink. And then there you have it. Again, you can just right click, style, copy style, and you paste it. And then you can rename this into path. Mm, not me, 25 meters. Now you can compare it with the one that is 25 meters. So what I would do is to drag it in here so they are yeah, you know, the same thing. So that's the natural neighbor and this is the spline. And you can judge which one is, you know, which, which one is better already, maybe. So how do you actually do the raster analysis? How do you actually see which one is better than the other? We will do it in our next segment.